Hi, everybody. This is Alan Elman, the Blue Collar Investor, and welcome to this BCI podcast number 11 titled The Collar Strategy with Long-Term Protective Puts. We're going to use a real-life example today with Sienna Corp, which trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the ticker symbol C-I-E-N. Now, when we write a covered call, we're looking to generate a monthly cash flow. We sell the option on the stock that we already own, and cash is generated into our account once we sell the option. Now, this is considered a low-risk option strategy, but some investors want to reduce that risk even further by purchasing a protective put, thereby putting a floor on the trade, so if the price of the stock declines, we have a floor, we can't lose any more money beyond that put strike. So the addition of a protective put to a covered call trade is known as the collar strategy. So therefore the collar has a ceiling uh, from the short call and a floor from the long put. Now purchasing this protective put is a form of insurance that costs us money. So some investors have suggested, why not purchase a longer term expiration on the put side so that if we divide it up into monthly costs, that cost will be reduced and so we could save some money and have greater returns. So we're going to examine that type of trade with today's podcast. So our goals then are to reduce the monthly cost of the protective put, thereby increasing our monthly returns while still protecting against a share price gap down. So our risk would be lowered with the protective put and the cost of that put would be lowered by going further out, thereby reducing our monthly cost. So let's have a look now at Sienna on April 21st, 2020. And on that date, it was trading at 44.04. The out of the money May 15th, 2020 expiration on the 45 call had a bid price of $1.52. The out of the money $42 strike protective put also one month out had an ask price of $1.17. Now on that same date, April 21st, if we looked out at the January 15th, 2021, nine months out, the ask price on that same 42 out of the money strike on the put side was $6.10. So that's the framework of the trade as we start to analyze it. Now the information was gleaned from the option chain and every broker will have an option chain. Uh, the particular screenshot if you're watching this podcast came from cboe.com site. Those of you just listening, what we do is we go to the date, the expiration we're looking at, uh, May 15th. If you scroll down the ask column to the 42 uh, protective put, you'll see an ask price of $1.17. Now, the nine-month out expiration for January 15th, 2021, the ask price was $6.10. Now, let's have a look and break this down by on a monthly basis so we can compare apples to apples. $6.10 is what the nine month put protection would cost if we bought the further out expiration. If we bought nine one month puts based on the current premium of $1.17, that would cost us $10.53, right? So uh, much higher than the $6.10. Now, if we took that nine month $6.10, $42, put expiration nine months out and divided it by nine, that comes to 68 cents per month, much less than the $1.17 for the one month. So you can already begin to see how you could save money buying a further out put expiration. Now the difference over nine months is $4.43 or a 42% discount using that nine month expiration put. So you could readily see why some investors have come up with the idea of using a further out protective put. Now, if we feed this information into, B, into the BCI 
collar calculator, we feed the information into the white cells on the top of the spreadsheet, and here are the results. For those of you watching, the red arrow shows that the, uh, that the 4250 uh, one month expiration protective put had a net return of 0.79% for that one month that annualizes out to 12.09%. Now, had we reduced the monthly cost of the put by using this, the nine month at 68 cents a month, our initial return would be 1.91%, which annualizes out to 29%. So more than double the return by reducing that monthly cost. Now, if the price of Sienna goes up to the out of the money 45 call strike, the net return for the month is 2.97%, <clears throat> which annualizes to 45%. Now, had we reduced our monthly cost by going nine months out on the protective put side, then our return would be 4.09%, which annualizes out to 62%. So you get a much, much greater return by reducing the monthly cost of the protective put. Now, if we looked at the uh, maximum loss, if the price of the stock goes below the 42 dollar strike on the put side, the, the uh, maximum loss for the one month is 3.84%. And on the nine month where the put monthly cost is reduced is 2.72%. So you have greater return and lower loss using that feature of going further out. However, there are some disadvantages of using a long-term protective put. See, every strategy has its pros and cons, and we must evaluate each of these situations to determine whether or not this is a strategy that we want to use. So the success of this trade will depend on the share price remaining in a narrow trading range because we're starting off the trade with a specific put protective put strike, 42, which makes sense when the price of the stock is 44 and change, but it may not make sense if the price of the stock goes way up. So we're depending on that share price to remain in a narrow trading range. Now, one of the reasons we would select the stock for covered call writing, with or without the, uh, the protective put, is that we have a bullish assumption on that stock. We've screened it and we feel that this is a stock that we would own anyway in our portfolio, with or without the option aspect. Now that bullish assumption may change. And here we are taking on a nine month obligation with the protective put. It also forces us to maneuver through two or three earnings reports. Now, those of you who know the BCI methodology know that we always avoid earnings reports. So that's another issue with going further out. Now we can always not write the call and just stay with the stock through the earnings report but then we are writing less covered calls on the months of the earnings report. So that's another fact that we have to think about. Now, if share price accelerates dramatically, we are maximized on the covered call side of the trade, but we will lose on the put side. And if assignment does occur where our shares are sold, this could result in a loss. So there are drawbacks to this strategy. And certainly, and this goes for all covered call trades, if the share price declines below the break even, we could start to lose money. Finally, we haven't talked about exit strategies, but that will help mitigate losses and enhance gains. And that applies to all forms of covered call writing or selling cash secured puts. So let's summarize this. Um, <clears throat> my preference is to stay with one month obligations. Uh, the only exception would be is if we're looking to avoid ex-dividend dates, then I might go two months out. But generally speaking, I like one month expirations. This will give me an opportunity to circumnavigate around earnings reports and reassess my bullish assumption every single month. So those are two very, very critical factors 
in achieving our highest level of success with covered call writing. And therefore, taking a long-term position is something that I'm normally not interested in. Another strategy where you're taking on a long-term obligation is when we're using the poor man's covered call. And we're going to be doing uh, podcasts on that strategy as well. So for those of you out there who uh, have not visited the Blue Collar site, uh, we do have a, the uh, free copy of the Elman Calculator to calculate your basic covered call writing uh, returns. Just go to the site, www.thebluecollarinvestor.com, and look at the black bar at the top of the web pages. Click on free resources, including the Elman Calculator, and then put in your email address and you can download the device right to your computer. We also have uh, several books on the collar strategy, the Covered Call Writing Alternative Strategies. Section three is dedicated to this. Uh, we have a DVD program dedicated to the collar strategy, and of course, the BCI collar calculator, all found in the BCI store at the website I just gave you. So um, there it is, ladies and gentlemen, BCI podcast number 11, uh, the collar strategy with long-term protective puts. Um, it has its advantages and its disadvantages. Only you could decide whether this approach is right for you and your family. So I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And most importantly, I hope you make some money from it. As always, this is Alan Elman, the Blue Collar Investor. Take care, everybody. <laughs>